Hey everyone, it's MK. Welcome back to MK Quilts University. And this quick lesson on how to print from within Pro Stitcher Designer. Now, a little history about this lesson. In my live Q&A with MK webinars, I had a question come in about how to do this printing from designer. I wasn't able to get to that question that night, but once I thought about it, I really felt that I wanted to make a quick chapter out of this to delve a little bit more deeply into covering this topic, maybe a little bit more thoroughly than I could have done in a Q&A. So the first thing that I want to mention about this topic is I originally thought my student wanted me to review for her how to actually save an image and be able to import that image, say, into a Word document and then print from there. That's not exactly what she was asking for. However, let's take a moment and review how we would do that. So what we want to do is save this design as a JPEG, an image file, and then be able to use that image file in documents or maybe in text messages or in posts on Facebook, that type of a thing. So first things first, I'm going to do a little pitch for QPI. Here is my QPI product, and I just did a quick search on the keyword DWR, which stands for double wedding ring. This is one of the blocks that is my most favorite double wedding ring block to use. I've had it in my collection for a very long time. To get it open into Pro Stitcher Designer, it's very easy. All I did was click on the block. Yep, that's the one I want. I'm going to right click with my mouse and say open in Pro Stitcher Designer. And boom, there it is. Now, in this method, we really don't care about the size of the design. Because when we make an image out of it, a JPEG image, we can resize that image when we use it in a Word document. If we're posting on a social media site, say like Facebook, those apps are going to take care of some of the resolution, the actual size of the actual file that it's posting. So in this particular part of the chapter, we're not talking about the physical size of this pattern were we to stitch it. We just want to get a pretty picture of the design. To do that, all we have to do is come over to File, Save as Image, pick a spot on your computer where you want to save it. For today, I'm saving in my class teaching folder, and I'm just going to name this Double Wedding Ring Block. This little pop-up box will appear, and for the simple technique that I'm showing you here, you really don't have to change anything on this block. If it's just a simple image, we just have the design, it's open, we really don't have to do anything on this except click OK. Now I'm going to show you in my file explorer, in my file folder structure here on my computer, if I go over to my class teaching folders, if I date sort this in descending order, what I just recently created should be right there at the top. If I double click on that file on my computer, it opens it up and we can see a pretty picture of the block. And if we look up into the upper left-hand corner, we see what I named the block. Now that's not the name that the designer named the block. It's just a name that I quickly gave the design. If you wanted to, you could go directly to the print function. You'll see my arrow pointing to my little printer icon in the upper right hand corner. You could hit print, send it to your printer, and with whatever printer settings you have on your printing device, it's going to print that out to its best ability. 
Now, that might not be exactly what you want. You might want to manipulate that a little bit before you print it. Let me show you how I do that many times. You've probably seen me post some of these recaps of my layouts that I do. And all I do for that is I create a Word document, I put a little bit of a header on it, and then what I do is I name the designs that I have used in that quilt or in that layout, and then I drop in a copy of the layout. In this case, our layout is just one block. Okay, so if I wanted to drop that picture in this Word document, all I would have to do would be to go to Insert, Insert Picture. I want to insert the picture from this device. This device is my laptop. I need to make sure I'm in my class teaching folder, and there is my double wedding ring block. I just hit Insert, and in comes the picture. Now, here is what I meant about once we get it into Microsoft Word, we can resize the actual size. There's some advanced layout features that we can do with this. A lot of times I will choose the text wrapping version called tight. Once I do that, I can drag this picture around on my document wherever I want it to be. So maybe I would want multiple pictures on one document. Okay, so this is just a real quick recap of taking that image from Designer, turning it into a JPEG file, and then being able to use it in a different app, in a different program, in a different way. That is what I thought my student was asking about. That is not what she wanted to know. She wanted to know, MK, how can I print a copy of this design straight from Designer? And what if that copy of that pattern is bigger than a sheet of paper that prints out of my printer? That's what we're going to cover next.